Hey everyone, Tristan back with another video. And I just got back from the launch event of the Drop, formerly Mass Drop, Panda THX headphones. These are them here. And I'm just gonna give you my first initial impressions of them. It's not gonna be like a review video or anything because it was a busy show type environment. And as I have said before on my channel, it's very difficult to actually evaluate the sound of headphones in such an environment because the environment was a bit loud. So this is just like a preview event. These are pretty much prototypes. It's not released yet. And, uh, but it was, I think a good thing for Drop to do to have people out to the headquarters in San Francisco to visit and see the headphones in person, which I appreciated being invited to do. And I think more companies should do this. I've said this before. I post a link on the top right. Um, I went to a Woo Audio event a couple years ago and really liked that event too. It's just good to meet the people in person, you know, the manufacturer in person and just get people together um, and frankly build some excitement over the product. My initial impressions of the Panda headphone is that they did sound quite good and they isolate pretty well too, although they are not noise canceling headphones. The ear pads are quite plush and the opening for your ear is uh, fairly large. My uh, ears fit perfectly inside the opening without really uh, touching the pads very much or if they did touch the pads, I didn't really feel it very much um, because they're so plush. So. But you can see in this video, a picture, you know, video of me wearing them and listening to them. Now, at first, I was not able to pair the first uh, pair that I tried. I was not able to pair it with my iPhone via Bluetooth, so I got a little frustrated with that. Um, I was following all the instructions to a T, and I just could not get it to pair. So I don't know what was wrong with that uh, set of headphones. They did have another set there that was already paired, I think, with an iPad that I was able to listen to over Bluetooth but I did a lot of listening also via Wired as well. Wired definitely sounded better because that bypasses the Bluetooth and everything. And it also, I believe, bypasses the internal amps as well. So if you're playing it Wired, like um, through the Chord Mojo or something like that, as you can see in some of this video, um, you're, you're just listening to the drivers themselves as if they're just the regular um, planner, mat, planner ribbon drivers, you know, directly. And I have to say the sound quality of these is sort of equivalent, just going based on memory, on sense memory, to the OPPO line, the OPPO PM line of headphones. Um, it does sound roughly equivalent to those in terms of sound quality. Um, so, you know, not necessarily something to completely write home about, but uh, they are interesting headphones and uh, they do have some interesting tech in them in terms of they don't do any processing apparently or any DSP on the Bluetooth at all. Um, from talking to some of the drop employees, they were saying that um, these headphones just give you the straight signal uh, over Bluetooth without any like DSP or anything like that to try to give you the most pure signal. And then it's also interesting that you can plug them in via, via the um, wired headphone jack and bypass the internal amps and everything. So then they're just like regular ribbon planner headphones in that respect. So a lot of uh, wireless Bluetooth headphones out there don't do that. When you plug wire other wireless Bluetooth headphones in, you're still using the built-in headphone amplifier and you're not really bypassing much. So that's interesting with these. Um, I did find these a little bit heavy. I don't know the exact weight on them, but they felt a little bit heavy, especially compared to my Sony uh, WM-1000 uh, you know, 3s. But the build quality on them is uh, really quite good and they seem quite sturdy and everything. The clamping force was a little bit strong a little bit um, you know, of a hard clamping force uh, for my liking, but that might be on purpose because you know, they're trying to get them to uh, close over your ears uh, fairly strongly so that they have uh, a good isolation. But speaking of isolation, these actually did not isolate that well. When I was just wearing them and not playing uh, any music, I could actually hear pretty much everything that was going on around me. Now granted, it was a noisy environment, so I'm sure they isolate some of the background noise, but uh, I was actually surprised they didn't isolate all that well. And as a matter of fact, wearing my Sony uh, WM-1000 um, 3 versions, um, wearing those without playing any music seemed to actually isolate um, better than the Pandas uh, when both of them were off. So anyway, just my initial impressions. And in this video, you can kind of get a sense of the event. It was definitely a marketing and PR event for Drop. Um, you know, they had a camera crew there. They kind of went all out. They had swag. Um, they had uh, free drinks and you know, a free wine and beer and hors d'oeuvres. 
and you can just tell that it's it was really you know like a PR event for them and they're just trying to get the word out about these headphones and from the looks of it you can kind of tell they really want to sell a lot of these now from talking to one of the drop employees apparently these headphones won't really be out till this summer of 2020 and what they might do is put them on Indiegogo first before they're actually released you know to build up interest that way so um, I don't know I don't really like those kind of crowdfunding type things where you pay first and you don't get the product yet um, but it is what it is that's just uh, I'm just relaying kind of like what they told me um, that they might do an Indiegogo launch kind of like what Odyssey did with their Mobius headphones and maybe Indiegogo is making them like a really good deal or something like that but anyway this just kind of gives you a view and overview of the event itself I mean it was kind of fun just to um, hear and see the new headphones and you know talk to the drop people you know I also uh, met uh, Mike from Hi-Fi Insider channel there as well um, so you know it was cool to hang out with him of course so all in all it was kind of a fun event and um, you know I was glad to have been invited and by the way I can't really comment on the THX amplifier built inside of these headphones just because in this environment I was not able to really evaluate that in terms of you know um, how quiet the noise floor is and stuff like that it was definitely a noisy environment and I would really need to get them in home you know to really be able to evaluate them um, with any sort of uh, good measure so I do hope to get a review pair of these in um, and be able to review them um, and evaluate these headphones but I did want to do this uh, introductory video and just show you the uh, sort of launch party uh, event for the um, drop formerly mass drop panda headphones